Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today I'll be sharing with you what is homomorphic encryption, its advantages, why it should be employed, types of homomorphic encryption and a lot more. So let's get started. Firstly, let's understand the meaning of the term homomorphic. It is fundamentally based out in algebra and means a structure preserving map between two algebraic structures of the same type. That is, it can be two groups, two rings or even two vector spaces. So similarly, when someone asks what is homomorphic encryption, we can simply understand it as a form of encryption that allows users to perform binary operations on encrypted data without ever decrypting the data first. And it is because of this encryption only that we are able to encrypt and outsource information to a cloud service or environments for processing without giving any third party access to our raw data. Cool, right? Now let's look into some of the advantages of homomorphic encryption quickly. Well, the biggest one being that it's heavily privacy friendly if we employ it. And also do note that in today's world, if we want to perform computations on encrypted data, such as mathematical operations, we have to decrypt the data first and then only we have to make our necessary computations and finally encrypt the data again in order to send it back. But what happens when the encrypted data is very sensitive and we don't want other services to have access to them? Here is where homomorphic encryption comes into play. A more practical example would be a system or a service that processes medical information in order to diagnose if a patient has a condition or not. The data we'd be sharing probably includes very sensitive information about patient's medical history. So this is something we want to ensure won't be accessible to someone else apart from the authorized personnel. Now here by using homomorphic encryption, the system or service can process the required computation on the encrypted data, returning the result of the diagnosis without knowing which information is being processed. If you are still confused, let me try and explain again on why is homomorphic encryption needed in the first place. Well, by sharing sensitive information through any platform, one can easily give away their privacy. On the other hand, being able to modify and perform operations on data while they are still encrypted ensures the privacy of the data, which in today's digital world is highly important. Next, let's look into the different types of homomorphic encryption. The most common types of homomorphic encryption include number one, partially homomorphic encryption or PHE, which allows for only one operation to be performed on the ciphertext, but an infinite number of times. Now this operation can only be of addition or only multiplication in its nature. Further, these are a lot easier to design and are very useful in applications that use one arithmetic operation. Number two, somewhat homomorphic encryption or SHE, which allows both addition and multiplication to be performed, but for a limited number of times. And this limitation is evaluated to a certain depth in the circuit logic. Number three, fully homomorphic encryption or FHE, which allows both addition and multiplication to be performed on the ciphertext and an infinite number of times. And it also supports arbitrary computations on the encrypted data. Now you might be thinking knowing them all that FHE or fully homomorphic encryption is the best, but not exactly. The major problem with fully homomorphic encryption is the cost efficiency both in terms of speed and the storage requirements compared to the plain text operations, which is something businesses do care about. Next, let's look into the Palier crypto system, which was invented by Pascal Palier in 1999. The Paley crypto system inherently is a partial homomorphic encryption or PHE scheme that works as additive homomorphic in nature. It supports only the addition of two ciphertext and not the multiplication between them. Also, a plain text number can only be added or multiplied to the ciphertext. Further, do note that the calculation performed using Paley crypto system takes place while the data is encrypted 
also we can verify the integrity of the result each time by decrypting it using a private key quite easily. Lastly, as a conclusion, it's worth noting that while homomorphic encryption looks like a dream when it comes to data privacy and protection, its poor performance and high cost still keep it out of commercial and production application as of now. But don't worry, there have been major improvements in terms of speed lately and knowing the current pace, I believe that we would be able to see at least small commercial integrations in the next few years. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, feel free to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.